guys, it is your girl Lilium here and welcome back to a new video. This time for you guys I have a new haul from Vape Club which is my probably my favorite place to buy my e-liquids, my atomizers and everything good for blowing those clouds. I love vaping and I've been vaping for four years now which is quite a long time and I've gone through a lot of different liquids over this period of time. Every time I'm getting to know my, my own taste more and more. Thus, I want to share with you which e-liquids I really like and what brands I really like. First up, we have Zap with Blue Soda. This is a 50 ml um, bottle and I bought the 18 uh, micrograms of nicotine to fill in this, meaning the total nicotine content is below 3 micrograms, which is a very light vape. Um, since I'm sub uh, ohm vaping, um, it is not so good to smoke uh, or to vape <laughs> a very high nicotine content simply because it will um, ruin the experience because it becomes too harsh on your throat with all that nicotine. So therefore, it is a good idea to vape at maximum 6 uh, micrograms or milligrams, sorry. And uh, this one I really, really like. It is amazing. It is um, unlike anything I've ever vaped before. And it has this sort of cookie-ish vanilla um, scent, like a sort of bakery. I'm not a big fan of bakery scents for toffee and vanilla and hazelnut and all those heavy vapes and gourmand vapes. I'm more of a, uh, uh, for the fruity kind of stuff and drink flavored vapes and for some citrus, some tropical stuff, you know berries and mangoes and all that kind of stuff is right up my alley. So when I saw this from Zab, I just thought, wow, I have to go and try this because it sounds so good. I also want to say straight off the bat that I have tried vaping all of these that I'm going to uh, review for you today and show. And uh, currently in my, um, yeah, my e my eye stick power uh, from Eleaf, I have the Zap Blue Soda in. So I'm gonna try and vape that a bit for you. There's of course some residue from the last thing I vaped, thus the taste is not a hundred percent clear to me right now. But it has a very full body taste. It is sort of a cream soda kind of flavor. So it's very full and still fruity and fresh. Not a heavy vape at all. This is an all day vape for me and it's just gorgeous. Here on Vape Club's website, I'm gonna read to you what they say about a Blue Soda E-Liquid by Sap Juice. Blue Soda E-Liquid is a soda style blend capturing the fizz of a sweet and aromatic cream soda on inhale, followed by a tangy yet balancing blue raspberry flavor on exhale for a smooth finish. So it both has the creaminess and the volume from the, the cream soda that they try to mimic and it also still has my my berry, my freshness. This one I uh, definitely want to purchase again. Uh, unless something else catches my eye. Next up, we have Dinner Ladies Talk Shop. A sweet and tasty vape juice with uh, sour apples. The whole design of the bottle, I'm just crazy for. It is so freaking cute. I love uh, the colors, the design of the bottle itself. And I love this uh, lid. That is not a little short lid, but you can actually take your whole hand and grab hold of it for an easy removal of 
the cap. And this is straight up just sour apples. When I smell this, and still now when I smell it, my mouth just starts watering. Straight up a sour candy, uh, sour apple candy. Sweet and sour apple candy. This is an excellent vape as well. Uh, it is not too sour. It is not too sweet. It just has a perfect balance and it's still a fresh uh, apple taste. So I definitely think that this is also uh, one of the um, eloquits I could see myself coming back to. And Dinner Lady makes some good quality eloquits uh, that I have really enjoyed. Here we have it on Vape Club's website and it retails for £14.99. It has really good reviews, um, 4 out of 5 stars, but it's only 2 reviews, but if it was me, I would definitely give it 5 stars. <laughs> Apple Sour Eliquids has a well-balanced, sweet and sour candy flavor profile. Crisp notes of ripe tasting apples feature heavily on inhale and are undercut by a tangy burst of fizzy sherbet on exhale for a tart afterbite. This is particularly a sub uh, own blend available in a 50 milliliter short fill bottle uh, and I added a, uh, an 18 micro, uh, milligram um, neck shot, nicotine shot and this means that the 60, um, that the 60 milliliters all in all because it has 50 and then you add 10 then it's 60 it will have a three milligram nicotine content. Now they also have other ones here that I really want to try at some point. This is, has lime, strawberry and sweets, sweet fusion it's called, and it looks so good. I'm just really drawn to the, um, the colors, you know, like the colors for me and the design is also something that I care about personally <laughs> and that it, for example, you know, it can fit in my purse and I have, uh, it's easy to, you know, to infuse with nicotine. Ooh, we also have this one, Pink Wave. It looks so good. This has coconut, orange and strawberry. I'm buying this next. But moving on to the next e-liquid that I bought. This next one is by um, Moon Bucket e-liquids and it is called Bang Bang Juice. This was the only one out of the bunch that came with a, um, with a box around it, which I really appreciate. I like the colors of it, it looks really, really fresh and it reflects the a flavor profile, which is very fresh and uh, citrusy and fruity. Again, this comes without any nicotine, so I got a mix shot for this as well. Let me open it up here. And the bottle matches the outside. It has a golden, golden lettering and green here on the sides. And again, I'm not the biggest fan of these um, kinds of, you know, lids, but they're okay. They're tolerable. And this is almost like, you know, it almost smells like Sprite. It sp smells a little bit like Sprite Zero. I can taste a little bit just because it's. It's only three uh, milligrams. It's very fresh, citrusy, and it's really, really lovely. It says it's uh, super fruity thrills. Uh, and I apologize, I said it wrong. The brand is called Bang Bang Juice, and this juice is called Moon Bucket. Here it is on their website. And this retails for 12. 99 pounds. It has really good reviews, four and a half out of five stars, uh, reviewed by three people so far. Moon Bucket E-Liquid is a sweet and sour in all equal parts, featuring a tart lemon and lime soda flavor on inhale, which is combined with zesty oranges to create a tangy afterbite. On exhale, ripe notes of raspberries and dragon fruit are added to the mix, balancing the overall taste. That's why I could smell. It was reminiscent of Sprite because of the lemon and lime thing. The thing is, when you have to taste a e-liquid and get the full experience of an e-liquid, you have to use a new atomizer every single time. And it's just, 
then you have to dedicate you know an atomizer to a certain flavor and you have to switch them out every time you want to vape a new flavor instead of mixing them all together like I do you know then when I'm done with one flavor I just refill it with another and it's not optimal but I can't be bothered <laughs> you know <laughs> switching the atomizers all the time it's just I don't have time for that, okay? The last e-liquid I got is this e-liquid that I have got before. It is from IVG and it is from their series Pops in Rainbow Lollipop. Just the design of this bottle was just <laughs> so amazing. All the colors and all the little lollipops here, the font of the rainbow lollipop thing, it was just so cute and I loved you know, I love this. And when I smelt it, I had to have it. Mm, it's so fruity. And it almost smells like, you know, the candy aisle in a movie theater. Like, you know, the candy shop in a movie theater. Mm, there's like hints of, you know, zesty lemon. Uh, tropical fruits, there's a mango, watermelon, some strawberry perhaps. This is just awesome and out of the last batch that I ordered, this one was the one that I vaped first. This one was the one that, you know, got vaped to death. <laughs> Here we have Rainbow Lollipop on the website and it's also on 50 milliliters. It retails for £14.99 and out of two reviews this has five stars and I couldn't agree more I would give it five stars as well. Rainbow Lollipop by IVG Pops is a confectionery blend with intense fruit undertones a combination of summer fruits strawberry lemon and orange provides a layered taste accentuated by a syrupy lollipop for a complex yet authentic vape. And I would definitely say it is a complex vape. It is very tasty, um, but not overpowering. I would also say this could be an all day vape for me simply because I love vaping on sweet and fruity things. If you're not into that kind of stuff, I could imagine it would be too much for you. Uh, since it is very very uh, intense, but I would definitely recommend it if you are looking for something sweet and syrupy yet authentic and You know, it's an original taste I'd say and That is still fruity and has a tartness to it. Just a slight slight little bit tartness Thank you for watching this little vape haul and letting me tell you all about what I got and what I'm vaping at the moment if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss out on when I upload new videos. Take care of yourselves, guys, and keep on vaping. Bye!